Army-Navy is hard to define. It's camouflaged as a football game, but name another football game that has the president walk across midfield with the Secretary of Defense at halftime to ensure he sits on both Army and Navy sides. Name another football game that has the student bodies march onto the field three hours before game time. And name another football game that has F-A-18 fighter jets, Huey, and Apache helicopters perform flyovers. And both the Army, Golden Knights, and Navy SEAL leapfrogs land on the field before kickoff. Yes, other games might get a fighter jet or army parachute team, but name another game that features enough firepower to invade a city. No, Army-Navy isn't just a game because the final score can bring a future soldier or sailor to tears. This time, Army players were the ones with eyes rubbed red as they fell to the Naval Academy 34 to nothing in the 109th meeting held between the two service rivals on December 6th in Philadelphia. The win was Navy's seventh straight against Army. It also locked up Navy's sixth straight Commander-in-Chief's trophy that is awarded to the best among the Army, Navy, and Air Force football teams. But despite the score, as is tradition, both teams walked over to first the Army Corps of Cadets and then the Navy Midshipmen to seeing each other's school's alma mater. Yes, both cadets and midshipmen are taught to beat Army or beat Navy from the day they enter the academies, but the rivalry is one born of respect, not hatred, and it goes way beyond just a football game.